about myths and legends on this episode of Sports Science. Baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports. Is that true? We found someone who wants to put that myth to the test. Meet Jenny Finch. Jenny is a six foot tall Olympic gold medalist and NCAA pitcher of the year. She believes that hitting a softball is harder than hitting a baseball, and is here in our lab to prove it. To start, we wanted to compare the force with which a baseball and a softball arrive at home plate. The harder it hits, the harder it is to hit. And we have our strike force plate behind here to actually measure the load or the force that the ball generates when it impacts. Basically, all you have to do is have the pitch break through these two beams and hit that plate, and we'll be able to collect the force that's generated. First up, baseball. Cal State Fullerton flamethrower Adam Jorgensen will see how much force his 95 mile per hour fastball creates. mile-per-hour fastball generates 2,411 pounds of force when it hits the strike force plate. Now, let's see if this softball generates more or less force than the baseball. Jenny's pitches will provide unprecedented data so we can determine once and for all which contains more force, baseball or softball. You just, uh, you just broke it. Look. Coming in, they told me that I was gonna throw against some scientific gear and my goal is to come in here and break it. And what happened? That's what we did. Jorgensen's missiles generated an impressive 2,411 pounds of force. Jenny's first pitch broke the machine. We're going to give round one to Jenny. With their high-tech equipment smashed to bits, we decided to test baseball versus softball by bringing in a live research subject, Arizona Diamondbacks prospect, Brian Byrne. Brian hit 310 last season in the minor leagues. First, he's going to face our baseball flamethrower. Brian has no problem hitting 95 miles per hour baseball pitches. He's a pro. Now it's Jenny's turn, and Brian has to hit off a pitcher like none he's ever faced. And from a lot closer, let's just hope she goes easier on him than she did on our gear. Brian's struggles are no surprise. A baseball hitter facing a pitcher standing 60 feet 6 inches away and throwing 95 miles per hour has only 395 milliseconds to react to the ball. 
Jenny, standing only 43 feet away and throwing 70 miles per hour, allows the hitter only 350 milliseconds to react. So a softball batter has less time to react. And that's not the only disadvantage. We did a lot of studies on what makes it difficult to hit a pitcher. And one of the things that makes it difficult is the visual. Baseball hitters typically are used to seeing a pitch come from a certain area. So unless they've seen a lot of pitchers that come from down under, they're going to have a difficult time with that. Our Vicon House of Moves motion capture technology allows us to break down the pitching motion of Jenny Finch in order to illustrate exactly why it's more difficult to hit a softball than a baseball. This is not a computer simulation. This is Jenny's actual pitch. The softball pitch may look casual, but it packs a punch. Jenny's shoulder is a fulcrum, and her arm a three-foot long lever. With massive rotational inertia, she rockets the ball over 70 miles per hour. The baseball's falling high to low path makes a last instant swing adjustment easier. Because of gravity, a batter can quickly drop his hands and hit a descending ball. For softball, the low to high trajectory makes adjustment difficult. It's much harder for a batter to raise his hands than it is to drop them, making a rising softball pitch a unique challenge. What did you think? It's just different. A lot different. It was tough. It was tough. What's the biggest single difference? I think it's just the angle. And, you know, Jenny was throwing some balls that rise. So the myth that hitting a baseball is the hardest thing to do in all of sports? Shatter. 